Now and Sleet have broken out across Jersey. Let's go over some live observations and geek out on the science. Okay, so precipitation broke out about 4 p.m.-ish, maybe, from west to east. As you can see here, it's, it's falling over most of New Jersey. Some of it's snow, some of it's sleet. It's kind of going back and forth in a few places. Um, let me back up and just show you what's kind of happening here. So high pressure is situated somewhere up here. And we have our low over here, right? Now the high is bringing cold air around like this, anticyclonic. And the low is bringing in warmer air like this with cyclonic flow. Now you have your boundary running across Jersey, somewhere like this. Now this, this low is bringing warm air in, which goes over the boundary on top of it. So you actually have warmer weather that spreads on this side of the boundary. Then you have the colder air coming in from the high that slides underneath. The cold air advection actually slides underneath the frontal boundary and, and extends further southwest of the boundary underneath. Um, I'll go over a graphic in a little bit that better understands this, but that's basically what's going on here and why this is so hard to pinpoint a forecast like this. You know, I saw I saw Bobby Martridge from EPAWA today mention that no one should be confident in their forecast for this storm. Uh, if you are, there's something wrong because warm air advection is really, really hard to, to pinpoint uh, and nail down. But let's go over some, some observations if we, if we scroll in a little bit here, zoom in a little bit. So I will enable the MPing reports and the local reports. So yeah, I mean, you can see intermixed here you have, you know, there's a snow report, there's a sleet report. Um, it's, it's mostly sleet in these areas versus up here, a little bit further north, you actually have some, some measured, here's a half an inch already up in Sussex. Um, so, you know, this, this area, we still think that this area up here is going to do very, very well. Um, so they're kind of in the colder side of things. It's our jackpot zone of the map. Um, you know, this area, maybe you see like a light accumulation of snow, um, areas down south down here, you're going to see the most amount, amount of sleet. So it's really just a mix of snow and sleet. Like if this was all snow, the maximum upside potential would probably be like six to nine inches. If it was all sleet, you know, maybe an inch of sleet, right? So you're going to end up with a mix of those two, you know, totaling your accumulation of snow and sleet. With the northern areas mostly snow and the southern areas mostly sleet, so it's just that's why it's so hard to pinpoint a a forecast um, like this. So you know, let's uh, let's geek out a little bit on the science of, of what is going on. This is the SPC mesoscale analysis tool I like to use. It's free, um, right from the from the National Weather Service. Again, here's our our low. Let me use a color that you can actually see. You know, our lows right here. Right now it's a thousand four millibars. Here's our high, and there comes the cold. Here comes the warm moisture boundary across. And again, you have the cold air sliding underneath this boundary to the southwest of it, and you have the warmer air rising over that boundary. And it, it's a very thin layer, um, and it's it's hard to see this layer because. You know, most of these most of these public tools and and weather tools show you specific layers. You know, nine twenty five, eight fifty, seven hundred. Those are pretty standard layers of of analysis, right? Nine twenty five is like twenty five hundred feet uh, up. Eight fifty is about five thousand feet up. Seven hundred millibars is about ten thousand feet up. All those layers are cold. If I go here at at seven hundred millibars. Uh, I'm going to trace the the line of, of freezing that's being depicted here. Now, that's well to the southwest of Jersey at, at 700 millibars, 10,000 feet. Uh, I will go up to, um, I'll go down rather to 850 millibars. That's that's 5,000 feet. So here's the line of freezing there, still to the south and and west of of all of Jersey. And um, if I go down to 2,500 feet above 
uh, your your line of freezing is looks like it's about here. So again, all these lines of freezing at these common altitudes are south and west of, of New Jersey. So you're saying, okay, why is it why is it not all snow then if it's below freezing from the surface all the way up? Well, in between these layers is where you get your sneaky warm, um, shallow warm layers that sneak their their nose in, and you can really only see those on like a skew T diagram here with a, a histogram and the adiabats. Uh, what I'll do here, I mean, these are, I realize this is a little, little complex, right? Um, but here is the line of freezing right about like this. Okay. So what you have is this little area right here is above freezing. And that's between, if you go over and look, that's right about here, right? You're at between 750 and eight. 100 millibar it's not detected on those standard elevations so that's why that's why the snow is starting at 10,000 feet as a snowflake but as it falls through this layer which is maybe six to eight thousand feet in the atmosphere somewhere around there um, it melts that snowflake melts into an actual raindrop as it falls through that that layer of elevation and then when it gets down below it's back into below freezing as you can see here it's below that that zero uh, adiabat so the raindrop refreezes into an ice pellet, also known as sleet. And, and that's what's happening here. Um, here is another graphic from the National Weather Service that explains it a little bit better. <clears throat> I will use, I guess I'll use this color. So, you know, here's here's North Jersey, right? This is your your best chance for all snow, okay? You're, you're cold at all layers, right? Here is, uh, you know, South Jersey, and you have the biggest layer of warmth, which is going to produce more of a, of a sleet to a freezing rain situation because that snowflake forms and falls through a, a, a deep layer of warmth. And, and sometimes it'll even hit the ground as water, and then it'll freeze because the surface is cold. So that's your freezing rain zone. That's going to be more common along like Cape May, Cumberland, Atlanta, Southern Atlantic County down there. Um, but you know this is this is your your central Jersey area. That's uh, a, a much a much shallower layer here. So again, starting a snow, going through a shallow a, a shallow layer, and then refreezing before it hits the ground as sleet. So this is the layer that that's coming in, and again, it's between like uh, what was it seven. 750 and 800 uh, millibars. So that, that's sort of what's going on and why we have such a, a dynamic situation here in, in this winter storm. I wish it was all snow. You know, all snow is easy. Uh, even a, a snow and rain only with the snow rain line traditionally paralleling 95, that's a lot easier than this. Here we have the boundary that's, you know, running perpendicular to 95 coming down from the Great Lakes. Um, and, and you have that warm air advection coming in from the southwest and the cold air advection coming in from the northeast. And it just makes it a real difficult uh, forecast to, to sort of pinpoint. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is our storm. It, it's here. I'd say there's maybe six to eight hours more of precipitation, which puts us around 2 or 3 a.m. I don't know if it's going to go all the way to 5 a.m., um, certainly through midnight or just a few hours uh, after that. And again, we we believe that areas up in up in here are going to do best because they stay on the coldest side of that layer. Um, we believe areas down here are going to see the least amount of snow, the most amount of sleet, and even even some plain rain down in southern Cape May. But this area is just an absolute nightmare to forecast, okay? How much snow versus sleet you end up with, I really don't know. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it could be anything from just a coating to an inch down here of snow before you go to sleet all the way up to, you know, three to six up here before when all is said and done. But it's going to be a combo of snow and sleet. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we got about maybe six, eight more hours of, of precipitation. And... Uh, you know, use this, uh, the comments on this post. I'll, I'll, I'll post this YouTube video to all of the social sites and, uh, you know, put in your comments what, what it's doing by you, you know, because um, people read the comments and it's nice for, for people to see, you know, what's happening around around the state. That's why I do these live observation uh, posts. 
Um, and obviously I'm doing a lot more video stuff this winter. I'm going to be doing more videos uh, from now on. It's just the, the times that we're in. Uh, Facebook likes for reels. They like the vertical format videos that I can do from my phone. Uh, but for more complex stuff like this, where I really want to show you some weather tools, uh, I'm still more of a desktop user. Uh, so the, for those form for these, I'll use YouTube and share the YouTube link. But I do want to build out my YouTube channel a little bit. So you know, like the video, subscribe to it, and uh, you know leave some comments down below. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's about it. I'll check in a little bit later tonight and see how everyone's doing. But yeah, leave your Tell me what's going on in the comments and uh, everybody have a, a great safe uh, Friday night.